啦啦。Hello, peeps, and welcome to a tour of my hospital.、Uh, as many of you know, I have been building this hospital over a very long period of time, across various series on my channel. And、um, but it is now available、uh, on the workshop, long and awaited by many. <laughs>、um, and it's all updated now with the infectious diseases department and the traumatology department. You can even see the chopper is sitting there,、uh, all ready to go. So I thought it was time I did an updated tour video to go with it as well, so that we can all check out what is going on in this absolutely colossal、um, hospital. It is worth noting there are no mods, but it does include all the DLC, so you will need all the DLC in order to. Have it,、um, you know, look right when you load it.、Um, it's also a very big hospital,、um, so while the insurance policies are reset and there are no staff, when you start up the scenario, should you continue to employ and all that sort of stuff, note that this is a very big hospital and may require a pretty decent PC to operate it.、Um, with that in mind, shall we get stuck in?、Um, you can see that there are.、Uh, Numerous buildings kicking around. We do have a main、uh, sort of entrance area here. We have emergency over here, and then these are largely wards and surgery, just to give you a very rough overview.、Um, but what have we got going on?、Uh, the location of、um, rooms has very much been,、um, you know. Considered,、uh, and I have successfully completed all of the insurance policies、uh, in this hospital.、Um, and as you can see, there is a lot of staff, almost 600, operating this hospital. It makes money, as you can see here in the budget. It absolutely does、uh, make money. So.、Um, You know, you may find that perhaps the rooms are a little bit unbalanced as the hospital is growing,、um, but it does balance out. In the end, you can see we have every department here activated,、um, and also、uh, that it does really quite well.、Um, I'm trying to find these stats here, so you can see that in this hospital, I've treated. Um, 16,785 patients at 98%. We've untreated 208, wrongly diagnosed 32, and we've killed 54. So not too bad, you know. It's、um, considering that this was built、um, from a field. <laughs> this used to be the only bit of the building. This. Little area here was the entire hospital when we started way, way back in the streams,、um, but it is now one massive、um, reception. I have every department、um, on this reception here. We keep all the receptions together, so everybody who's not an emergency patient, as we can hear coming in right now, but our walk-ins will all come through this main entrance, and they will all.、Um, Get checked in,、uh, triaged.、Uh, we do have staff rooms either end,、uh, either side, I should say rather,、uh, to deal with the staff that are in、uh, this area. You can also see that、uh, we have signage up here.、Um, we also have、uh, every department's been carefully colour coded,、um, and these colour codes for the department. Uh, continues like pink is cardiology here.、Um, continues throughout the entire hospital. Staff tend to have this brown, creamy colour、uh, that we can see here. That tends to be staff areas,、um, and the teal、uh, tends to be areas in the hospital that are not designed to be to a specific department.、Um, this area here is the main waiting room for.、Uh, The emergency.、Um, this this one here, emergency. This is the main walk-in waiting room, and it gets quite busy, and it is quite large.、Um, but they have televisions and all this sort of stuff. They have toilets.、Um, they have posters、um, for entertainment,、uh, so they can read those.、Um, but you can see it does get very busy. I usually do a bit of manual work here to stop the standing, but、uh, uh, I'm of course not doing that today.、Um, and then through the These doors is where they start to go to the clinics.、Um, so down in this direction, and again, we can—you'll、uh, be able to see that 
uh, everything is signposted so we've got emergencies here um, so these four rooms are all dealing with walk-in emergency patients and um, they are busy working on it as you can see and each office each clinic room here has an office area that's beautiful and carpeted and all the rest of it um, but then it does have also the examination area with all, all the equipment that you can see there it's difficult to, to see it with the walls up um, and then we have a little area cut out which tends to be either uh, a toilet it can be a toilet generally it is so that if a patient is asked to get a sample they don't have to go very far in order to provide it um, some of them are janitor rooms janitor closets um, but also others are cut out completely and they are an extension of the waiting uh, area because um, while emergency has this lovely big emergency uh, space here the smaller departments um, just have small waiting areas outside uh, their main rooms and this here is traumatology uh, very similar color as you can see um, to emergency um, but they have uh, red accents instead of black basically it's it's um, you'll see it when we get into the main main area of traumatology um, this is also emergency as you can see here denoted by the door um, staff signage is black uh, otherwise it's all white um, in this direction you can see here that we have orthopedy um, and their waiting room outside here we have um, neurology and their waiting room and you can see that this is yellow this is purple um, the green here with red accents is um, let me deal with this <laughs> um, is uh, infectious diseases whereas the green without the red accents is your internal medicine um, then over here we have pink for cardiology and then we have general surgery in the blue um, so this this main entrance building holds all the clinics this is where the majority of walk-in patients uh, come to be seen and then leave and they very rarely need to go any further if they need to buy medicine though uh, they can leave either by this door over this separate crossing or they can do so over this door because over here there is a pharmacy for them to buy stuff which we'll look at in more detail later uh, you may have noticed this little area here with all these signs and this is me uh, attempting to do a large signage of what's on each floor of the hospital so on the ground floor we have the pharmacy gift shop we have a restaurant we have emergency um we also have internal medicine on the ground floor as well as these uh cardiography and sonography and all that sort of stuff um then on the first floor because in england and i am english the ground floor is the ground floor and then the next floor up would be the first floor a bit different to um, how it's done in america but this is denoting ground floor then first floor um, where we have these departments um, noted with their colors as well and then here we have the um, second floor uh, with these departments and then the third floor with these departments and uh, I've not been able to um, uh, get the fourth floor in with surgery and stuff but patients don't find their own way to surgery or the ICU so I don't bother uh, signposting them um, but you will note that across here we do have emergency so this is um, yeah the emergency room where the ambulances uh, turn up to drop off emergency patients you'll also notice that I keep my ambulances quite close by and that I've made them like a little garage area so that we can keep the ambulances all good and nice and I've sort of made a faux garage and we sort of pretend in our minds that there's people working here that look after the ambulances but actually what this is is mostly administrative uh, departments this is where uh, my head janitor is and I've got other janitors that go about um, cleaning the hospital that's what I actually use it for but um, in my mind the mechanics um, so yeah they get dropped off here um, they come through this door which is restricted uh, only people that are coming through ambulances can come this way and uh, they have this long walkway with each trauma room um, separated this is trauma one two three four five and six um, and we have here some stretchers 
Um, in the middle here, we have the staff, uh, doctors and nurses that deal with um, the trauma centre only. They don't go anywhere else. This is what they do all of the time. Um, yep, that's all that they do. And this, uh, we've got cleaners here that very much uh, prioritise keeping trauma clean as well very 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 important so these are the doctors that work in the trauma center only um, in this uh, this office space here and again we've tried to keep a lot of facilities nearby we have we have uh, drinks and whatnot there's some food over here as well you can see there's some fruit and stuff uh, to try and keep things uh, nice i've even given the head of department their own office over here where they can access through here and out um, two here. Uh, these are all the stretcher nurses uh, for trauma. So that's what they do all of the time. They transfer patients. Um, uh, whereas these nurses over here uh, are actually the trauma stabilization nurses, which also sort of acts like um, a reception uh, for the area. And uh, this here at the back is uh, where we have uh, patients on this department, um, but they're not <laughs> coming through trauma. Um, you know, uh, we have a little breakout area here. Something we do in wards quite a lot in this hospital is we give the patients um, a place to chill out, get some coffee and water, watch television, read a book, sit down, that sort of thing. Quite common in this uh, hospital uh, to have those sorts of facilities. They also have a toilet over here, and then staff have a break room with some lockers and whatnot as well to see them uh, through so this is uh, trauma and you'll notice there is a lift here um, because again uh, we need certain departments quite close to trauma um, and one of them being x-ray so we have x-ray up here and we also have the labs up here as well i've done my best to um consider you know where outpatients are walking to um, what departments they will need um, just I just as I have with emergency and also the ICU and making sure they have quick ways to get there because uh, I don't want my walking patients walking all over the hospital I want to keep them uh, all roughly in the same area so walk-ins as well as trauma uh, need quick access to x-ray and the labs so it makes sense uh, in my mind to um, keep them quite close by um, and above here is the ICU so this lift shaft is very important uh, indeed so uh, we'll come back to these departments we'll finish the ground floor first uh, you will note that we have a little row of shops here um, I like the little row of shops um, this is actually multifunctional not only does this work as a canteen for staff but I've also got it as visitation uh, for internal medicine as well so we can get patients and doctors in here without a mod um, over here we have the gift shop uh, in the in the center with uh, all the gifts and whatnot um, and we also you can see we have um, facilities at the back for staff toilets as well so that this is a toilet to the restaurant and all that sort of stuff um, and then we have a small pharmacy we have two pharmacies in this hospital this is the smaller one it's much more like a shop and sometimes when it's very busy um, people do complain that there is uh, not enough room in the pharmacy but then they do generally just go upstairs to the big pharmacy but you can see again we've got like a public toilet here for them and uh, staff working this uh, shop style uh, pharmacy. Um, so what else have we got going on, on the ground floor? This large L-shaped building largely houses all of the wards um, but there are a few little bits that make it different here and there. Uh, all of this is internal medicine that's why it's all green so through this door you'll see as you come in here it all says internal medicine through here um, and we have all the rooms needed for internal medicine now all the wards are essentially the same so we'll have a look at one and we won't need to necessarily go over it um but uh -oh, um okay well i can't deal with that right now <laughs> um so not only are they color coded by department but i have color coded the wards depending on what type of ward they are so blue is the regular ward so we have blue chairs blue beds blue curtains uh while the red 
is your high dependency unit um, so that you can quickly and easily see uh, which ward you are dealing with and like all the wards at the back here there is a little breakout area so we have visitation we have toilets stuff to eat and drink they can watch television get a coffee and all that sort of stuff um, so it helps keep everybody on board happy as well as staff um, and again we, we, we have the same in the high dependency unit as well um, at the front of the the wards um, is where I keep my patient care nurses so this is where we get a little bit of staff so they can they're always on the ward nearby um, and this is where I keep the stretchers in this sort of nook here as so you can see as they go in there's the stretchers the nurse in her office there's room for two nurses in each and they're always on the ward and we have you know defibs uh, kicking about and all the rest of it um, we have extra defibs actually on um, cardiology in the middle of the ward um, you know because it's, it's, they're more likely to crash from heart failure here on me so um, so that's uh, but they're all largely the same you'll see as we go up they are largely the same it just repeats um, nothing too uh, too crazy there it's just the color of the department that changes uh, so you're probably thinking well where's everybody else um, here well so uh, they all have these this area as well this area is uh, repeated as well and you can see that it's here for this this one um, so what's going on in this area well uh, for a start this is where we get the diagnostic rooms um, over here um, but then we got staff signage into here staff door and inside the staff door there's all sorts we have a little locker room here uh, ju just to one side and then come through into here me what can we can we cut this out I don't I don't want to deal with this right now um, so over here yes we have a, a little um, uh, staff room that's it uh, with access to a toilet as well they've got a little kitchen um, as well as somewhere to sit down and watch a bit of television um, but then through this door here you'll notice we start getting into offices and here in this office this is all the transfer nurses for this particular department um, and you can see here that there is room for six of them and they are often very busy in this hospital um, but they do patient transfers for nothing else and, uh, and nothing else and I, I try to get people that are speedy through here but it doesn't always work she wasn't one of them um, then we have a little single office over here so as you may or may not know you can set heads for the department I make it so that the head of the department has their own little office um, <laughs> and then through here is the doctor's office where I keep all of my diagnostic doctors for that particular department so they all work in here sometimes there's a third desk here um, should I need it um, and then they're always close by to satisfy all of their needs but get to the diagnostic rooms you know it's 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 all really um, easy for them um, internal medicine is a little bit different because we have these additional rooms here which is why it's on the ground floor because it didn't really work um, because it had all these additional uh, rooms uh, leave then it's because I'm not attending to the hospital right we have a large toilet here a very large flashy uh, toilet for everybody to use um, basically because I needed to fill the gap um, <laughs> but we do get uh, patients waiting in this area so this is um, the sonography and the cardiography um, and the neuro room and you see I've got two uh, cardiographies here um, one sonography what I found in the original hospital for those of you that saw it um, this entire bottom floor was all these types of rooms for all the individual departments and I found that a lot of them lay dormant um, barely ever got used um, but you do have these rooms on x-ray and then doesn't matter what department they're on they can come to the x-ray version so I thought you know I would um, shrink it down um, so it takes up a lot less space we need a lot less staff but they're busier um, you know they're actually earning their living uh, so and it's working really really well um, the these staff members are now busy um, so it's, it's, it's just lovely um, again there is some color coding so black is x-ray but 
sonography is blue, uh, cardiography is are red, so you can see the red accents and the blue accents. Uh, of course, neuro is part of the neurology, um, so it's a bit of an odd room, this one. It was very difficult getting um, all of the equipment in there so that it, it, it worked, um, but we got there in the end. Um, and you'll see that I have made it so that um, these uh, doctors are all right in the room where they do their examinations. I've given them their own sort of little office space back here um, so that they can they can work um, and it will be fine. Um, and then at the back here we have pathology which hardly ever gets used but it, it is here um, and it, it does exist. Um, there is a corridor you can see here actually um, so I've got it so that I get all emergency patients. Um, we can see here there is a staff door. Um, there's an overflow lab, and the main labs are upstairs, which we'll have a look at in a bit. But we do have um, a haematology lab here because that department can get very, very busy. I needed an extra one, um, and they only deal in hospitalised patients. So there is absolutely no reason why any other patients would... Why? Yeah, why, why anyone other than staff would come through this door and need to come through this door. Um, but yeah, around here is pathology. And we have uh, a little entrance area. We also have the reception nurse for pathology here. So you come through the door and she's, she's right there. Um, and then you come through here and we've got this main corridor where we have the doctor's office. Here there's a toilet for them. It's Janta closet and then uh, the main rooms uh, for autopsies um, and and all that uh, deeply unpleasant stuff um, so that that makes up this uh, rather unusual uh, ground floor but uh, once again you will note as well that um, it's all signposted everything is signposted um, as as well as uh, I, I, I could achieve it so there we are that's the ground floor um, so uh, and you'll notice as well there is another lift here which just um, links all of the wards together as well. So the next floor up we start getting our sky bridges. Oh my goodness. Uh, we start getting um, sky bridges um, here as you can see to connect up the lift. So it doesn't matter where uh, they are, they can get to everything. Um, so in x-ray I personally have these set um, uh, so that they prioritise um, uh, ward patients because um, the CT is very important for um, uh, certain head traumas. They need to be seen quite quickly. So we've got quite a lot of C CT um, machines here. Uh, we've got angios as well. And uh, we've got a staff room here on the end and a massive janitor's closet. But what I do with my x-ray rooms is I make it so one office does two x-ray rooms so you'll note here that we have somebody here dealing with this room and somebody over here dealing with this side and how it works out on the floor you can see how I just <laughs> make them share this inner space um, so that yeah they can one office does both um, and it, it's a great space saver and we we do it constantly here with our MRIs looking angios and that another staff room big toilet because again we get lots of patients waiting up here um, and lots of x-ray because uh, I uh, need a lot of x-rays um, but it's also just nice and quick and easily accessed uh, for ICU and an emergency down here here is the main staff cafeteria um, and you can see that it, it gets well used um, we have like a faux kitchen uh, back here, sort of pretending that this is where they create, uh, make all the food and then and serve it up here. Uh, we have uh, toilets as well and lots of seating. Um, they hardly ever sit down and eat, but sometimes they do. Um, it's nice when they actually sit down and eat, as rare as it is. Uh, uh, and these tend to take in the walk-in patients, whereas these are ward only. Um, over here are the labs, yeah. So we have um, a nice little area here um, as you can see, it says labs, but um, it's uh, also the pharmacy. Um, this is the main hospital pharmacy here. And you can see that we have a, a big waiting room um, 
for the labs and I sort of pretend that this is where they drop off their their lab works and and get them back again I've sort of made this area up um, and this it has two toilets for everybody to use and yeah that the really big pharmacy which is just sort of a battery of chairs it's very similar actually to the one in my local hospital but it's yeah just sort of a battery farm of, of stuff um, and then yeah so they can wait here for their lab works through these doors is all of the labs as well as staff facilities for those doctors and nurses um, toilet and uh, they've got television here they have a, a kitchen here there's a janitor's closet they ha even have a small garden to themselves um and then we have yeah each of the labs and the labs are broken that they're all very similar i mean you can see they're quite similar with uh, just different colors but what i have done with this is um it's a bit difficult to make out but i have the main entrance in and this is where they can wash their hands it's a sterilization area uh, where they get all sterilized up and then they come through uh, a, a central door here this is where all the fridges are and a lot of the equipment so this is where they keep their samples and whatnot and then they have the main door coming into the lab so you need to go through a bit of a rigmarole uh, to get into the lab and we have a small area here because we have to have big printers and stuff in the lab but then I've given each staff member their own working area where they get their own glassworks their own PC and somewhere to sit down um, so you can see that we have uh, four stations going around here as as well as somewhere for them to wash up and clean up their petri dishes and whatnot uh, in the center is where I keep um, a bunch of the very expensive pieces of equipment each department needs to use and at the back again we have more uh, expensive equipment that they need um, for those department uh, departments to to you know whatever they need um, so they've got everything um, yeah and uh, let's say you've got plenty of stations for everybody to work out but hematology did get a little bit busy so we did open up that second one in the end um so here we can see a bit more what this floor looks like most of the time where they come through oh it must yeah it's eight o'clock it pauses when it when it saves um so we can see that um we can come into this ward or we can go up here and go into this ward uh this one is uh orthopedi uh, that's that's the yellow so we have the orthopedi ward here along with all their diagnostic rooms and all their staff stuff and then over here is the same but it's cardio um, and the only difference with this is that I have given them their own cardiography so they don't rely on that one downstairs but this one takes ward patients only so um, the people that are on the ward they get first dibs on this and this just really helps keep cues down and the ones downstairs don't need to uh worry too much about war patients coming down sometimes they do go down there but this is the first port of call um so yeah that's that's uh this floor covered um the next floor so here we have a uh, general surgery uh, department and then here we have neurology department um, ward um, and on this floor is where we have the ICU um, and again it's as you can see it's very close to this lift um, and we have 10 uh, it starts at zero this is this is uh, a the zero room one two three four five and they just zip across the corridor until we get to uh, 10 ninth being the the tenth one nine being the tenth one massively equipped rooms um, uh, we've got plenty of sanitation um, going on and uh, yeah it's it seems to work really quite well this ward here are their stretchers um, we've got some more stretchers uh, over here um, and you can see back here is where we get into more of the staff stuff um, so through here we have the care patients so these are sorry not patients nurses these are the care nurses they come out here just to make sure that everybody who is on the ward once they've uh, been through all their emergency stuff gets their food and, and whatnot you know they, they they look after them um and behind them here we can see as well that we have the lab where we do the ps blood control uh results and all that sort of business wow they really do struggle <laughs> without me um and then here 
Um, uh, mind you, nobody's died yet, but it feels like it's only a matter of time. <laughs> um, here we have um, all the uh, transfer nurses, and again, they should have, yeah, they all have the fast. <laughs> um, I mean, the hospital on the workshop doesn't come with my staff, but, um, you know, uh, they're all very well trained um and all this sort of stuff you know uh so it, it you can eventually balance it all out it just may take a little time um at the back here we then go into the more icu stuff stuff right um, we have janitor's closet over here and this is the doctors you can see how well uh, trained they are um i mean he's still working as uh, on his anesthetist skills but yeah i mean they're they've been they've been working here a long time <laughs> um and we've got uh, lots of uh, desks for those doctors. Um, and then through here, so you can see that through, they have to come, they can come through next to the nurse's station or the doctors can come through from their office, but then we have a staff door. And we have the canteen air, or a small kitchen area with also a lounge area. So there's a bit of a comfort. They also can come through here where there's toilets and then they get their own large garden. Um, out here because I do like wards to all get their own windows um, I think that sort of makes sense you know so I've made sure that all beds have a window to the outside um, here we have training this is the training facilities we have a big projector room over here and a little meeting breakout area at the back here we have um, small um, areas where they can bring their laptops and sit down and have uh, some quiet time we have a library I felt a library was important and then we have lots of um, training computers and stuff like that with their printers there's also a little toilet over here as well and that's just at the end of the corridor and this here is just a little garden you know we've brought the outside in so that it doesn't matter what the weather they can enjoy a bit of nature um over here this is a bit of an odd one so originally this was uh, overflow for infectious diseases um uh, then traumatology came along and infectious diseases was really crammed in here i think actually the old version of uh, royal peeping hospital this was just empty so that you could put infectious diseases into it but it was very pokey uh, and eventually i gave them their own floor uh, which is here so we've got infectious diseases here and we've got traumatology here so it's like well what do i do with this space well first of all in my mind i gave uh, an office to the uh, dean of medicine not that you have one in this game but in my mind this is where the dean of medicine would be this is actually based on lisa cuddy's office in house md if you know that show um i've based it on that um so that's just a little bit of fun we also have here a little bit of overflow for the icu and the emergency department downstairs for the son sonography and the cardiography so again these only take ward patients um, they don't take walk-ins um, and they really help alleviate those cues and are available as i say for um they are available for um, uh, the ICU uh, as well as uh, trauma. Um, so in the end, I made this an overflow ICU. Now, it's something I very rarely use, but I suspect um, as you're starting to unlock the insurance policies and everything's a bit unbalanced, you may need additional ICU space. Um, I don't leave it assigned all of the time personally. I mean none of your departments will be assigned uh, when you start the game. You'll have to start assigning rooms to things but um, uh, you can see here I have them all as corridors. Um, each individual room though is a fully equipped ICU. Every individual room works as its own ICU. So um, if you need an ICU bed you would um, just uh, change uh, this ICU to here like that and you can see that it is fully functioning it's not a problem um, and then you get an extra bed and you can see here that there is lots of extra beds um, f should you need them um, so yeah it's now a, a it lays dormant pretty much all of the time but it is there uh, should something happen there is uh, also additional ICU staff here and I do have them employed they do work here this is uh, these are care nurses and uh, I also have uh, some uh, doctors over here as well so additional desks um, 
you know um, so if this opens up there's always somebody nearby um, so that's what it's that's what it's ended up being used for uh, yes yeah, so this is we've done this haven't we general medicine neurology that's that floor that is that floor okay next floor uh, you can see we've got a lot of roof coming in now so we've uh, we've finished the emergency building over here uh, the chopper sits on top so again um, when the chopper arrives with emergency patients they come in through these doors into this lift and they can just come straight down to here no messing it's really quick um, it, it works really really well um, and then all this is capped off but this is where we've added a whole new floor uh, compared to the um, old Royal Peeping Hospital this floor never existed before but now it does and um, it is uh, yeah the infectious diseases department um, which is the green with the red accents um, and they have their regular but they also have their isolation uh, rooms and I've tried to make it so that these actually look like isolation rooms because these items um, don't actually reach the top do they of of walls so you can see that I've uh, attempted to uh, actually make them look like they are isolated rooms um, that, that, that get used um, and you know he's all safe and cornered off over here um so yeah try, tried my best with that but they're all uh, fully equipped and uh, they look they even get a television they even get look there's a dude in here he's got a television yeah because i'd imagine it'd be super boring there um and all the usual stuff out here of course with their stretchers and all that they also have a, a cardiography room um and here we have trauma and they have their own sonography room because they do use that quite a lot uh, but yeah and you can see that we've got some of the new trauma uh, stuff creeping in here as well um, so that's that's pretty much that floor we also have janitor closets opposite um, the the lifts there's a door up here so plenty of janitor closets kicking around because you know there's uh you know you, you need them <laughs> and then this floor is where all the surgeries happen so the only patients that come up here are ones that are on uh, gurneys uh, so we have uh, eight surgery rooms as you can see um, and all departments will use any one of them any department can use any surgery room and they absolutely do um, and these can be very busy these can get very busy four is definitely not enough I've never seen eight being used but I have certainly seen six being used um, so <laughs> that's that's worth bearing in mind um, but yeah this is a uh, very heavily uh, staff base. It's got a lovely garden over here. Um, and around here is where we have uh, a battery farm of doctors. These are the surgery teams, the surgical teams. Uh, as you can see, um, I've given them like all these sort of office bits over here. Um, so they've got quite a lot actually on the office. Um, and uh, you can see that I've broken it down. We can actually see different departments here. So, you know, here's general surgery, um, orthopedy, uh, my cardio, neuro, and then um, trauma. So you can see, you know, there's <laughs> they're all there, and um, they're sort of sorted out into banks of three generally. Um, so I have. Um, surgery uh, and assisted surgery uh, I tend to have two of those and then we have as you saw the anesthetist uh, yeah as well uh, so they that's all they do all day long is just surgeries um, so they just wait for those to come in um, and uh, are often very busy when I'm uh, oh is it reached midnight it has uh, very busy when I'm actually playing um, in the center here we have another lovely canteen as you see there's a lot of staff here so we've given them a pretty luxurious cafeteria um, and a couple of toilets over here and this can be accessed either side here and from the main corridor um, and then here are all the surgery nurses for all the departments um, you can see again how the departments have have been uh, divided and we we yeah that's all they do they're just surgery nurses all of them that is all they do all of the time um, yeah uh, so that we can just keep surgeries moving smoothly uh, without any breaks whatsoever and uh, the roofs are 
uh, designed uh, as, as well to make the whole thing uh, hopefully look quite appealing i have considered the grounds all the way around as you can see we have faux car parks um a nice plaza here with plenty of flowers um i've done all the road signage i've tried to make the pavements nice here or sidewalks uh we have you know bins and that i've put in this uh, fake road back here um as though you can drive into the hostel and also park up in front of this row of shops that's there um you know it's 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 all it's all there if you were to view it from the other side you can see it's it's still you know all done all the grounds doesn't matter what direction you look at this hospital from it's it's done so there it is it's all done and now on the workshop uh, i hope you enjoy it uh, please leave uh, comments and feedback and, and all the rest of it um, there are links in the description below uh, to find it on the workshop if you are watching this video from the workshop well done i am very appreciative please do subscribe to the hospital give it a like and uh, and let me know what you think of the hospital and if there are any problems as well also let me know and um, in the description of this video and on the description of the hospital in the workshop are links to all of my project hospital series of which there have been quite a few over a number of years now um, and there's probably still some more to come as I've got some ideas yes I do thank you for watching and uh, enjoy the hospital if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe thank you to all my patrons for their continued support